DMP out! Down and clear! Hi, this is Double1975, and today I'm bringing you me playing Black Ops 2 on Xbox One. The back was compatible, unfettered, not ruined by supply drops, Black Ops 2. Which is what we were all hoping for, and I'd just like to say thank you very much to Treyarch for doing this. I know full well Activision would have liked them to release a remastered version, add supply drops in, so they could milk this cash cow for everything it's worth. Act, you know, Treyarch, however, have released it backwards compatible, which is to be commended. Um, considering what they did to Call of Duty 4, we could have had the same for Black Ops 2, and I wouldn't have liked that. I wouldn't have liked to see this game ruined with added supply drops, added weapon drops, stuff like that. It would have just been wrong. So to get my hands on this game, unfaired, unspoilt, is amazing. If they can just bring back League Play, that I would be, you know, totally over the moon. But I will take this all day long. It's such a fun Call of Duty to play. It's so fast-paced. It's so good. In fact, when I started playing it again, I forgot how quick people move on it. Um, as uh, Thunder always used to say, the lightweight perk is Crackhead Pro. Because, man, people get around the map quick, especially when they use lightweight. So, I've been having fun playing this game. And it's taking me back and reminding myself, you know, what's good, how to play. And I must admit, I haven't been doing as well as I'd hoped. I've been doing okay, don't get me wrong. But, you know, a little bit off pace of where I used to be. Which is no surprise, it was a good few years ago. When I was probably at my best at this game. And uh, it's not like my reflexes are getting younger and faster. But... I do okay, I get some decent gameplay, that's the idea and that's the fun of it. You know, I'm not some sort of godlike professional player. If you want to see that, watch Optic Scumpy play this game, it's just hilarious watching him play it. But me, I have a good time, I run around, I just try my best to get decent scores. Um, the score streak loadout I'm using is just a fun, simple one, two non-lethals and one lethal. And it's just all about spamming UAVs and counter UAVs, getting some points up through that. Um, and I don't really need, um, unlike a lot of Call of Duty players, I don't want to really pad my stats with like score streak kills. I very often run the non lethals as a UAV, counter UAV, and VSAT, stuff like that. Or this loadout I like because I was playing Dom with Elliot and I can use my Hunter Killer drone to throw out enemy score streaks like helicopters or spy planes. So. All in all, it's a fun score streak loadout for that. And plus, when I'm playing Domination, I run around and cap flags and uh, get myself killed a lot jumping on flags. But this game, I didn't have everything my own way. It wasn't a brilliant performance by any stretch of the imagination, but I got a very good score for me. I was very happy. It was one of the few gameplays that I've got so far of me being back on Black Ops 2. And uh, it's all thanks to Treyarch. It is amazing they've done this. Just think how much money they've just given up by doing this. It's crazy. Uh, I do predict this is going to be the most played game on Xbox One full stop at some point. Uh, I'd be surprised if it wasn't. I'd be, I'm pretty sure, well, I'm 100% confident it's going to be the most played Call of Duty on Xbox One. That's that's a given. But whether it can top of FIFA, we'll have to see. It is just hilarious to me that people... Um, have been going out and buying Xbox 360s so they can join the people playing this backwards compatible because they're on PlayStation and it's not been released as backwards compatible for them. It's kind of crazy. Some people have said there is input lag and I might be. Um, wouldn't surprise me because obviously you're putting input into an Xbox One which is then talking to an emulator and then doing this. But I've also added input lag myself because I'm using a wireless controller uh, which in the old days I used to play on a wired scuff. Now I use a wireless Xbox Elite controller. So that's, you know, something different. But I haven't really noticed too much of an issue. And this gameplay is proof. I can still do alright for an old fart. And that's all. Thank you very much for watching.